Hi students, today in this video we go for some textbook exercises and it is of poem number 6, Yavata and uh, it is, they are on the page number 98, 99 and 101 of your Marigold textbook. So you have to open those pages for this exercise. So let's start. And this is exercise 2 and it is on page number 98 of your Marigold textbook. Exercise 1 we have, we will do afterwards and uh, uh, in this exercise where do the following leave? Means here some words are given to you, some animals that where they live. So in A birds live in, we have to write that where did the birds live? Here the answer is nests. Number two, rabbits live in burrow, the home of the rabbit, we called it burrow. And number C, beavers live in, the answer is lodges, means houses. Beavers means uh, animals and uh, they live in lodges. So, this is the exercise two and now we go for number three exercise. And in number 3, there is a question that describe Yavatha, his home and friends in 10 lines. We have to write description of Yavatha, his home and friends in he here. Yavatha was a young rat Indian boy. He lived with his old grandmother Nokomis. The name of his grandmother was Nokomis in a wigwam. Wigwam means oval round shelter. His house. Yavatha learned to love birds and animals from his grandmother. His grandmother taught him to love birds and animals and other things that like insects, trees, all the things uh, he taught, uh, she taught uh, to him. He used to talk to birds and animals. Yavatha used every day he talked uh, to birds and animals and they also talked with Yavatha. The birds and animals also talked with him. All birds and animals were his friend. They are Yavatha's, they were Yavatha's friends. He learned their languages, uh, their names and all their secrets. Yavatha learned uh, the languages, uh, the names and the, their secrets, uh, the secrets of these birds and animals. He called, called the birds Yavatha's chickens and animals Yavatha's brothers. So the birds and animals are, were his friends and he learned the languages of them. So this is the answer and now we go for number 4. In number 4 there is one question also that what did Yavatha love? Means Yavatha ko kya pasand tha? Yavatha loved all the things around him like the stars, the trees, the insects, the birds, the animals and many other things. His grandmother taught him to love uh, all the things around him that the stars, the trees, the insects, the birds and animals. So this is the answer and these uh, three and four, uh, these question answers you have to write the answers in the textbook on me. Space is given to you so you have to write uh, the answers in page number 98 of your textbook and now we go for the next. And here is page number 99. Uh, exercise number 5, match A with B and write the complete sentences below. Here uh, in A and B there are, uh, in A there, uh, there are words given to you that uh, and in B uh, some sentences are there so we have to match the correct word with correct uh, sentence. In A whenever, whoever and wherever, three words are given to you and in B I go, I have friends, I am hungry, I eat, comes first, wins. So let's uh, write the correct word with correct sentence that uh, when, whenever I am hungry, I eat. It is the correct uh, sentence. Whenever, jabbi mujhe bhook lagti hai, main khana khati hu. So the correct sentence is whenever I am hungry, I eat. Number second is whoever comes first wins. Means jo bhi first aayega na, wo jitega. Wins means jitega. So here the correct word is whoever and uh, number three is wherever I go, I have friends. Main jahan pe bhi jata hun, mere friends hoti hai. So these are the words and the sentences and now we go for the next exercise. And here is page number 101 that 
but uh, the exercise number 7 that some words have similar sounds but different meanings choose the correct word from the box and fill in the blanks here some words are given to you and they are they have same sound but uh, their spellings and their meanings are different and we have to choose the correct word for the given sentence here so let's start that uh, in number a the bird sits on a desk here two words b o w and b o u g h given to you that the sound of these words are same that bow bow but we have to choose the correct word and the correct word is b o u g h the first one bow means head down and uh, b o u g h means branch so here the correct word is b o u g h in b the squirrel has a long tail here tail and tail the both the words साउंड आर सेम बट द मीनिंग ऑफ टेल इज जो एनिमल्स की जो टेल होती है और टेल मीन्स स्टोरी सो हियर द करेक्ट वर्ड इज टेल टी ए आई एल द स्क्रल हैज अ लॉन्ग टेल स्क्रल की जो टेल होती है वो लॉन्ग होती है नंबर सी आई हैव टू लिव एट डैस हियर ऑल्सो टू वर्ड्स टू टू टी डब्ल ओ टू मीन्स बहुत ज़्यादा और टी डब्ल्यू ओ टू मीन्स दो so we have to write here the t w o 2 it is the correct word that i have to leave at 2 means mujhe 2 baje yahan se jana hai number d is this sum is right here r i g h t right means correct and w r i t e means it is action word that hum bolte hai jab kuch likhte hai to usko bolte hai right so The correct word is here right means this sum is right means ये जो sum है वो correct है so these are four blanks and now we go for the next here number e is I can dash the words song here two words here here h e a r here means सुनना and h e r e means यहाँ पे so here the correct word is here h e a r because uh, the sentence is i can dash the birds song so the answer is here h e a r number f is do you dash a secret here uh, no n o no means uh, mana karna no and k n o w means janna do you know a secret so here the correct word is k n o w number g is the king sits on the throne t h r o w throne means it is a past participle of throw and throne means t h r o n e throne means sihasan so here the correct answer is sih throne t h r o n e king jo hai wo sihasan pe baithta hai number h he is our school principal P R I N C I P A L प्रिंसिपल मीन्स जो हमारे जो प्रिंसिपल होते हैं वो एंड P R I N C I P L E प्रिंसिपल मीन्स रूल सो हियर द करेक्ट वर्ड इज P R I N C I आई प्रिंस पी ए एल प्रिंसिपल सो दिस दिज आर द वर्ड्स एंड आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड द दिज वर्ड्स दैट द साउंड आर सेम बट द स्पेलिंग एंड मीनिंग आर डिफरेंट and these words are called homophones in the grammatical language so i hope you understood all the sentences and the answers very very well you have to complete these exercises in textbook only thank you